to grab it here. Yeah. So we'd go through um, some details about how to clamp things down um, for welding. And um, since I'm one of those unlucky people that actually doesn't have a dedicated one million dollar um, welding tables, uh, I won't be covering those, but uh, general clamping we will discuss. So anyway, here's a few clamps. Now, these are the usual clamps you have lying around in the shop and um, for various reasons these are not actually very good for when you start doing welding work because um, well, yeah, one of the main reasons is that this has for example plastic parts and when you clamp welding parts they usually get very hot and then these get all burnt plus the handles are usually either wood or, or plastic so, same as uh, like this type of clamp um, also lots of plastic parts so you know you get the um, heat conduction will melt the when you're actually trying to clamp down the metal parts then the conduction of the heat will usually burn these and then when you if you do things like stick welding and stuff then you get a lot of welding spatter and then you know the, these surfaces they're not indicative to such handling because they'll get all clogged up so one has to actually move away from these more traditional um, shop clamps to something that's more dedicated for welding. So anyway, the first style of clamp that one should could consider is a so-called C-clamp. Here's a smaller sized one. So these are fully metal, see no plastic bits. Um, usually chromed steel, so that if there's welding spider then um, usually uh, you can just, um, it won't stick to the actual um, clamp very well. And um, just use some cardboard and wood to illustrate, so it's actually the quite easy to use clamps. together and you can just do the welding you need to do. And then of course these come in all kinds of different sizes so this is pretty much the smallest size you get. Oh, you can also oh, move up in size if you actually have such a need so um, yeah. yeah sky's the limit when it comes to size. So that's the C-clamp. So Another, another style of clamp, example of a small, small one, where you can actually, using this knob here, you can actually adjust the initial distance, which you want to have, and then you can just take your part and um, put it on like that, and then just clamp it shut. So that makes for very um, quick application, and when you want to disconnect it, then you have this unlocking mechanism so you can just unlock it and take it off. And on um, the same situation here, it comes in a little bit different sizes. So I've got a few examples. So um, for example this one. And it's the same idea you adjust the um, the distance you want have initial distance you want to have and then you clamp it And then you have a release mechanism to release. And also, the thing is that these are, like you see, that uh, it's um, treated in such a way that if you have weld splatter and stuff, then um, it, it'll, it'll, it'll basically just drop off. And then they come in various different form factors. Also, Here we have one of the where you can actually have a, a flat area in the middle and that 
it's rather large. So if you think you have a very large um, workpiece and you have something that's quite a long distance in from the edge, but you can still reach to um, clamp it. And as I said, these are just a few examples, and there, there are lots of lots of different um, different different form factors in this type of stock. Uh, but uh, I find them very practical. So anyway, let's um, make an example. We just imagine that this is a piece of corner steel, not steel. This is metal plate. So um, so you're in the process of you want to weld that onto that one and you actually want it held in place and um, let's say you can't really get to the edge of it for whatever another reason and, what, and you would still want this to be held down and, and this is like the plate can can be a bit wobbly and you know, exactly what, maybe not stay so straight so then for that you have these types of clamps Basically, it's the same sort of clamping mechanism. But, um, then you have these jaws that are, that are formed. So what you can do is you can take this whole thing. Let's see if I can show it properly. Then you can just take that like that, just like that. And then you can, um, clamp it on like that. And then you can sort of weld. So it actually puts the pressure on both sides, sort of widening it out. And then you can have more of these, of course, if you a longer thing. And then it keeps the plate straight when you're um, trying to weld it, because it might get warped also when, when you're heating it uh, during the welding process. That's that type of a clamp. So anyway, let's pretend these are two pieces of metal plate, and you want to actually do button welding, so then you want to actually have them held in place while you're doing that. So then you actually have these, these special clamps, where you have a block, and then this um, wing nut screw, and um, the way this works is that now, let's see if I can apply it, right. open it up a bit more. Gap so you can still weld it. And then um, I'll show the neat trick that let's say you want to put one more in the middle. And then you just take the bar out. And you slip that in there. Go to the other side. Bar in. You don't need to turn around, you can do it from just put it in there, put the block through the underneath, and then just screw it. So, and then, um, of course, this works the opposite way. Let's say that okay, you you weld up to that one, and then you want to actually get rid of this, or you want to move it. If you want to move it, then you just loosen it and move it along, or if you want to actually take it out, then you remove the bar, and then you can just pull it out. But, so these are very convenient for doing this kind of plate to plate. You want things to be, and then it keeps them, re it keeps the relationship relatively straight. So they actually can make sure they end up straight. So, and then the last desperation uh, or demonstration, you have these, yeah, two bits of metal, and then you um, would actually like to. Well, weld them together and you would like to somehow hold these a little bit lightly together so then you actually have 
different types of magnetic clamps and these of course again come in very many different sizes and, and I have this size so then what you can do with this is you can now set it in the corner and then line up and then it holds it just enough so you can tack it in this pl into place and also this works in another way that you have it So if you're going to do a cross brace, let's imagine that you, this is another corner piece that you put along here and then you want to make, make a corner, corner brace from one end, one end to the next and you actually have that corner angle so that it would go and then so that you can have these corner brace um, configurations. And it's very practical, very fast to use and then once you've tacked it in place then you just Take it out. So. And usually these come in packages of four. So in this case, I actually have four. So if you want to make, um, I'm actually like setting up um, So all kinds of different configurations you can make with these when they have the two angles available. So, so I, th I think they're very practical. I mean, of course, if you want a very rigid, um, uh, very rigidly held in place, then um, yeah, your only option is to get bigger magnets or um, yeah, using traditional clamps or like I'm saying, if, you, if you're wealthy enough or sponsored enough, then you can have a welding table and have, have things connected to welding table. Anyway, so so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Yeah, just a very quick review of general um, clamps one can use for welding or assembly fabrication. So I hope if you enjoyed this one, can please consider hitting the like button if you'd like to see some fabrication videos where these are put to use to some extent. Um, consider subscribing, and um, I'll see you in the next one.